Just so that everyone is on the right page, this is by the off chance that Disney somehow doesn't buy Fox. And I'm only going to be focusing all of these projects as their own projects that are separate to the MCU. Now, just recently it has been revealed that Fox will be releasing a total of 12 Marvel movies within the next 3 years. Regardless on whether or not Disney will end up buying Fox in the end, and the only reason why they're doing all of these movies is so that Fox can keep themselves afloat by the off chance that this deal doesn't go through. And despite how we don't really know the exact release dates for any of these movies with one exception, we do more or less know pretty much all of their projects. Or at the very least all of the projects that will be released through 2019 up until 2021. Now the first film that we're going to be mentioning is yet another core X-Men movie, or if the rumours are to be true, the X-Men Dark Phoenix Part 2. And when it comes down to movies that often have two chapters, they are pretty hit and miss. Because in some cases, most people will avoid Part 1, and yet they'll probably jump onto Part 2 instead, or even vice versa. But given how the X-Men is such a damaged brand these days, it is pretty difficult for them to keep up float. And given how Part 1 sounds, it doesn't sound too good. Now the next film we have is of course the Gambit solo movie which was supposed to be out all the way back in 2016 I believe. Now truth be told I honestly think that a Gambit movie can actually work. But given Fox's lack of confidence with other around the Gambit movie it doesn't seem like a good idea to be doing it right now. At least until they have a full idea on how to take this film. Because if they keep doing what they're doing then the Gambit movie will probably get delayed until the end of time. Now the next one we have right here is the latest inclusion, which is the Kitty Pride solo movie. Now I honestly like Kitty Pride, however I don't think she can really hold her own movie. But maybe if Kitty Pride was teamed up with another X-Men like let's say Colossus or Iceman, then maybe we could have something here. But me personally, if we were to take Kitty Pride into the MCU and reboot the X-Men, then I would have her teaming up alongside the original 5 X-Men and have Kitty Pride be the new kid on the block. Very simple. I know, but with Kitty Pride, this can actually work. But please, no solo movie. Now the next project that Fox currently has at the moment is of course the X-23 solo movie. And as much as I'd love to see an X-23 film, I think that this one will be on the chopping block. Which is so unfortunate because I really like X-23 and I honestly think that this can actually work. Because not only is she another female superhero, but she's also just a kid. So there's plenty of different angles you can take the character. But again, coming from Fox, I highly doubt that they have the confidence in doing this one justice. Unless everyone from Logan comes back into doing this solo movie. And if that's the case, then we have another winner on our hands. Next of which is the only one that has a legit release date, that of course being the New Mutants. Now just before it got pushed back to 2019, I was so pumped to see the New Mutants because it was such a new and exciting concept. But ever since it got delayed by 10 months, I feel so nervous about this film because with a delay so long, it could either make or break this movie. But whether we like it or not, no matter what, the New Mutants is still going to be released. However, what I don't think will be released is of course the New Mutants sequel. Because like I said earlier, ever since the delay from the original New Mutants film, there has been nothing but bad press revolving around the New Mutants, so at this point it does seem unlikely that we will ever see a sequel from the New Mutants. And the only way we will actually see a definitive sequel out of this film is if the New Mutants was as big as Deadpool, but at this point it does seem unlikely. And then speaking of Deadpool, it is pretty clear that Deadpool will have a complete trilogy. Because at the end of the day, Deadpool does sell and Fox seem to be more open with the entire Deadpool brand at this point. And at the moment, Deadpool is by far the most popular franchise that Fox has in relation to all of the Marvel characters that they currently own right now. And not to mention, we also do have the X-Force on the way as well, which has been heavily teased within Deadpool 2. And surprisingly, Fox themselves are very confident within X-Force as a whole. And they have been clearly building up towards the X-Force's formation ever since probably the original Deadpool film. And given Fox's passion for X-Force, this does seem like the film that they are keen to stick with. But not only that, Fox are also very willing in doing yet another reboot for the Fantastic Four, and at this point, 
minutes. I highly doubt anyone would give a shit. Unless it came from Marvel Studios themselves and that the Fantastic Four reboot will be set within the MCU. Long story short, this is a huge no-no. And then we also have that Franklin Valeria Richards team-up movie which is probably the stupidest idea since the Mysterio Craven spin-off film. However, there's one film out of all of these mentioned movies that I really want to see so badly and that is the Doctor Doom spin-off film. But only if this was set in the MCU and that Marvel Studios was making it. Because out of all of the comic book villains both from Marvel and DC, Doctor Doom deserves a solo movie. But give a fuck some credit where credit is due, they actually do nail the spin-off films. So hopefully they could nail this one if they were to make this Doctor Doom movie? Hopefully? And last but not least, we have the Silver Surfer movie, and like I said with Doctor Doom, I really want to see a Silver Surfer movie, but only if Marvel Studios was making the film and that it was set in the MCU. And before anyone asks about that Multiple Man solo movie, let's be honest, it's probably cancelled at this point. But at the end of the day, given all of the upcoming Fox films that they currently have planned in relation to all of these Marvel characters that they still currently own, it is a massive mixed bag for me. Rachel from Good bad, skeptical, probably cancelled, or probably better off in the MCU. So how do you feel about all of the upcoming Marvel Fox films? Are you excited by any of these? Do you not want to see any of them? Or which ones would you rather see in the MCU instead? Comment below and share some thoughts. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Take care and have a good one.